This is Oleg with OpenBomb and today I am going to show you how to start using OpenBomb and create part catalog and uh, bill of materials using this catalog. So first let's start from this picture. This picture shows you a basic view of um, BOM and catalog. And what is the difference between part catalog and BOM? In open BOM, you think about part catalog as a list of parts, uh, assemblies, and uh, sub-assembly that can be used in uh, different uh, products. So uh, you can create one or many part catalogs and uh, use it for different purposes. Like, for example, you can create uh, electrical parts, you can create mechanical parts, you can create outsource assembly, and many others. Then you can create bill of materials and you can use parts or assemblies or sub-assemblies from these catalogs. But now let's shift gears and uh, go and make some practical examples. So let me start first from creating a catalog. So the simplest way to do it is to create catalog from the menu, create part catalog. Note you also can uh, import part catalog from spreadsheet and this is if you have spreadsheets with um, parts that you're using before started using the open bomb. So let's call this catalog cat pen and uh, another thing that we can do in a catalog is that we can set up a part number. What does it allow us to do is allow us to create a range and prefix and suffix for part number so let's do it something very simple ca is prefix and uh, configure range from 000 with step 1 to 999 that would be our simple part number and we will add the separator dash so all our numbers will be ca001 002 etc so i made it and now I can save this option and I can create a catalog. So what you see now is an empty catalog that we can fill with parts. And for our exercise now, we create few parts in this catalog. So I can add a part. And uh, now I realize that I would like to add some properties to this part. So I have default properties like part numbers manufacturer name state but I would like to add a description so um, open bomb is fully customized customizable so I can add any properties so description goes to the catalog and uh, another property that I would like to add is a property called uh, cost so let me add a uh, cost to the catalog so now we have catalog as we want and I can create this would be my uh, screw with a cost of $0.9 and the manufacturer I'm buying it from McMaster and uh, another part will be uh, that and that will be the cost and I'm also buying it from uh, Fastenal so and uh, th those are uh, basic uh, parameters of the catalog that I want to make and you know let's make uh, another part and I will call it widget and uh, the cost will be defined later on and um, the manufacturer will be myself so I, I, I don't need to put a manufacturer name I leave it free empty so we do have this part catalog with all information if i want to see information differently i can run info panel and see this information in the list so now uh congratulations we got the basic catalog so uh and uh, now since we got the catalog we are going to build build materials and we will use parts from this catalog so let's me step back to uh dashboard and let me create new bill of materials and uh, I will call my product PRD10 and uh, I will uh, create a bomb so that will be very simple flat bill of materials a simple list but before starting 
to work on this bill of materials, I will select a catalog as the source of parts that I will be using in this bar. And you can see there are three catalogs that I created before, but I will choose this one. So that's the important moment. What you see this warning says that description and cost are properties defined in a BOM, but also properties defined in a catalog. And OpenBOM recommends me to delete those properties from BOM. So what does it mean? If I remind you this picture before, we got cost and description in the catalog, and then we might have cost and description in a BOM. So in technically OpenBOM can manage both, but as a default option, I would not recommend you this. And that's why when you see this message, just if you didn't do anything special, just click delete and go ahead. So what we got now is that we got a list of uh, properties where a part number and quantity is something that we have in a BOM and all other properties are defined from catalog. So how you see those properties are coming from catalogs? First of all, they gray, but sometimes color is hard to see on different displays. So square brackets are telling you those are properties are coming from catalogs. Those properties are read only, read only. You can change it in a bomb. And now we are going to select a uh, part. So um, we can select part from drop down list, but you can also click on the search user interface. And search user interface automatically brings us uh, parts from the catalog that we selected. But we, of course, we can search. Not that now it makes any difference because there are only three parts, but I can give you an idea that this is a free text search and you can part for, search for any part. So I selected widget, I can see the properties and I can insert in this BOM. And look what happens is that the data now is uh, imported and placed inside of BOM, but this is the visual, the data is actually managed under catalog. So if I go and I see my info panel, I can see that the properties, <clears throat> part number and quantity is in a BOM, but all other properties are actually catalog properties. And here I also can see link to the catalog. So let's repeat it one more time. And we will add another, uh, part now I will select it using uh, just a list and we can see that the data is coming from catalog exactly in the same way and we can see this data in a BOM and uh, also the data coming from catalog so congratulations we just learned how to start using open BOM by creating part catalog and then creating bill of materials that is uh, using parts from this catalog that was Oleg at OpenBomb, and uh, thank you very much for listening.